Hey guys, it's Desiree, and I have a very special guest with us here today. This is Jessica, aka Mr. Chris. Hi! And she has an awesome new book out that shows you how to make over 90 different crispy rice treats. There's everything in there from everything. dinosaurs to the Eiffel Tower. So depending on what you want to take on, lots to choose from. But we're going to show you three from the book today, and they are chocolate chip cookies, lollipops, and mini donuts. Fun twists on your favorite desserts. We're going to get started with these yummy looking chocolate chip cookies. Yay! And these cookies are incredible because unlike regular cookies that are really hot when they come out of the oven, you can eat these immediately. Chow down right away. Yeah. Let's get started. Cool. <laughs> we have four tablespoons of butter in the pot right now. So I think we are ready to add the marshmallows. All Desiree? Right. We'll add those in. Awesome. So now we're just going to stir until the marshmallows are coated. And my biggest tip when making crispy rice treats is that you don't want to let your marshmallows melt down too much. The more you let your marshmallows melt, the harder your final project will be. And we all want things to be chewy and delicious for days to come. So as you can see, there is some gooey melted marshmallow, but you could also still see those marshmallow chunks. They are not going anywhere. So I am going to, at this point, turn off the burner and we're gonna add some food coloring. So I'm just right. gonna add a couple drops of white and then just a drop of base brown. <laughs> if you don't have brown and white food coloring to add to this mixture, you can use peanut butter. And then it's time to add our cereal. So Desiree, if you will. Here we are. And now we are just gonna give it a little stir until it looks like it's like partially incorporated. And then, we're gonna add our chocolate chips. So let's add half of that, and then we can add more as we go. All right. And what's so great about using chocolate chips in this recipe is that they start to melt, and they give the treats even more of that brown color. And now we're ready to mold our cookies. Since cookies don't have that perfect round shape, we mold them by hand. And one of my biggest tips and tricks when making crispy rice treats by hand is that you don't want them to stick to you, so we just use cooking spray directly on our hands, and that will prevent them from sticking and makes our life a lot easier. So I'm just gonna spray directly on my hands, right. and Desiree, you do the same. Okay. And just rub it together. Coat it up. We're coated up, <laughs> and then we'll be ready to start molding. All right. So what we'll do, I'll do the first one, and then we'll kind of just go from there. So this sort of does really, at this point, look like cookie dough. Yeah. So I just, you know, globbed a blob of this out, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to very gently press it together. And like I said, like this is edible right now. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're not going to eat it because we're classy, <laughs> and we are showing you how to do this, but we could. <laughs> This is one of my favorite projects to make. I just think it's so simple. Anybody can do it. Yeah. And the last thing we're gonna do is add More some chips. chips to the top. Great. Just sort of in any unexpected pattern. These are just adorable. So fun. There you have it. First project done, chocolate yes. chip cookies. Chocolatey hands too. Now that we're done with those chocolate chip cookies, we're going to make donuts out of crispy rice treats. And these have a twist from the ones in your book, right? Yeah, so these are actually mini donuts. We have this mini pan and we are gonna make bite-sized donuts. Sounds good. Let's I'm excited. On it. <laughs> we have three tablespoons of butter and that is four cups of mini marshmallows. And then it's time to add our cereal. So now we are ready to get molding and making our little decorated donuts. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our little mold. Mm -hmm. And we are going to use cooking spray to not just spray the mold, which we'll do first, generously, <laughs> but we're also gonna spray our hands. That way we can handle the mixture. My moisturizing today. Yeah, here. <laughs> seriously. So now we're just gonna grab mixture bit by bit. Okay. So I have just like a little nugget, if you will. Okay. And we're gonna start pressing it into the donut pan, making sure that we can see that little center piece so it'll actually have a hole in it because yeah. what's a donut without a hole? This is really easy to shape these in here. So now we have our mini donuts molded and we are just going to flip the pan over so we can start decorating them. It's raining donuts. <laughs> these are so cute. So cute. <laughs> so we got our little baby donuts and if you have more mixture left over, you can just start molding them right into the pan again. But we're just gonna lay these out and now we are going to start decorating, which is the fun part. I mean, all of this is the fun part, who am I kidding? <laughs> yeah. So I just have some Wilton decorating icing and I'm just going to cover the top of the donut. 
And we're also okay. going to use pink So that we for have some. like our strawberry flavor. Exactly. Okay. So we'll just like, and this is a really fun way to customize a project. You can use any color icing that you like, whatever works for you. If you have a team that you really like, you can ice it in your team colors. Well, that's a good idea. So All now right. that we have these iced, I'm mm -hmm. going to push down on the chocolate icing. So now that our donuts are iced, we're going to add some decorating details and we're going to start with some sprinkles because what are donuts without sprinkles? Especially rainbow sprinkles. Right? <laughs> Perfect. And that was Look really at these simple. little babies. Now we have 12 little bite sized crispy rice treat donuts. They're so cute. <laughs> I love them. So we've made the chocolate chip cookies mini donuts, and we have one more crispy rice treat for you guys. They're little lollipops. The lollipops are so easy to make and so easy to eat, and food is just better on a stick. This is very true. So let's get started. Let's go. First, we're gonna add our butter. It appears that our butter is melted, so we're gonna add our mini marshmallows now. And adding a little food coloring. So we have our pink food coloring, just a couple drops going right in to the marshmallow mixture right in the pot. So in order to assemble these lollipops, we're going to use candy melts that will adhere the lollipop stick to the treats. So while these treats settle a little bit for no more than two to three minutes, we are going to melt our candy melts. It's perfect, that's all the time we need. Perfect. We're going to let these melt for about a minute, check it, stir, and then continue in 30 second increments. So now that we've melted our candy melts, it's time to mold our treats into little balls so that we can make them into lollipops. So this happens really quickly and it's really easy to do once you've sprayed your hands with cooking spray. So we're both gonna spray our hands. Rub them together and grab little bits of treat at a time and just mold them into balls. And because we were making the candy melts, these hardened a little bit, which makes them easier yeah. to mold. Okay, so now we have our balls and making these into lollipops is super simple. All you need are some lollipop sticks and the candy melts and I'm gonna show you how it's done. So you're gonna take one lollipop stick and one ball and you're going to make a hole gently. You're gonna dip the same stick right into the candy melt and make sure you have like a little glob and then stick it right back in. You're then gonna just press gently to make sure that it's all formed and, and there, there you have go. it, your lollipop. It's Once perfect. it's set, yeah. And there you have it. We just made three really easy crispy rice treats. Thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you so much for having me. It was really easy and it was really fun. And if you want to find more ideas, definitely pick up a copy of Jessica's book, Treat Yourself. It's available online and wherever books are sold. And if you enjoyed this video, as always, give us a like, leave us a comment down below to let us know what treat was your favorite, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the latest ideas. I'm Desiree. I'm Jessica from Mr. Crisp. Thanks for watching.